Welcome back. I'm gonna have a look around real quick. See what else might be interesting to look at. I forget. Oh, that's the... That's that boss. The dream boss. I guess I could go to the resting grounds and turn in a bunch of the essence that I've gotten. Eventually, I'll want to take the tram off to the right. And then eventually I'll go through the Fog Canyon, go through the, the left path over right here. So there are a few things to do. This was what again? I think that was just the double jump area. And I've already done all that. And how much pale ore do I have? I've got two, so I could probably upgrade my nail once more. So I guess, um, first things first, let me go get powered up. So I will go to the blacksmith. Uh, hmm? Oh, goes you've returned. Back. I see you have some pale ore, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Ooh, I don't have enough geo. That's a bummer. Hmm. Ah, you don't, don't have the geo. Go. Come and see me when you do. And I will do that. So, I figure that the best way of getting some money is to sell all of the uh, items that I have, but... Gone out to clear my head. We'll be back soon. If you have something you absolutely must sell, come find me in the Fountain Square. Okay, I guess he's just uh, out and about lamenting at the at the statue of the Hollow Knight. But this is a good way of getting Geo fast. So let's go talk to him. Helma Delker. Oh, what are you doing out in this miserable downpour? Impressive fountain, isn't it? I'm sure we'll be able to appreciate it more if we weren't both getting drenched. The night up there was an important one. The plaque here mentions its sacrifice, which carries something of an ominous tone. Probably meant some sort of horrible end, though it sounds like the knight's goal may have been achieved in the process. In all the relics I've collected, I've yet to find a clue as to what that was. Gachail. I'll be getting so. back to the shop, shop soon. If I stay out here too long, I'll be, get washed into the waterways. Come and visit if you like. If you have relics, I mean. I'm not much for chatter. Alright. Let's, uh, let's visit him at the shop, then. Velmi Arthrit. Gachail, Liyasoke. Have you heard that saying about stone journals? If danger lurks close by and your nail is dulled with wear, just swing your journal at your foes with blunt and deadly flair. It's a good one, isn't it? Inaccurate. They sure have a heft to them. Velmi Arthrit. Boris son? Gian. So many of these now. Once I get around to deciphering them all, I'll be the preeminent scholar on Hellenists dead. Velmi Arthrit. <sighs> oh, Paul. It's quite incredible how many of these you've collected. You must have traveled the breadth of the kingdom to accrue such a haul. Velmi Arthrit. <sighs> oh, Paul. Velmi Arthrit. Same dialogue there. Oh, Paul. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I worry I'll run out of space in the shop. Velmi Arthrit. Kachail, Liasok. Velmi Arthrit. Same dialogue. Kachail, Liasok. Same dialogue. Oh, Paul. Same dialect. Dialogue, excuse me. Dialect Velmi is the, uh, is the accent I'm giving him. Some kind of knockoff Irish. A king's idol, eh? Hellenist king was an elusive figure, deified by the citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idol idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match this skill. Velmi Arthrit. Velmi Arthrit. If you look closely, each of these idols is subtly different. There are fine engravings about them that take some time to decipher. I suspect each was tailored to the owner, a personalized symbol of the king's omni omnipotence. Boris son? Gian. Have you visited the remnants of his palace? It's down below the city in the bedrock of the kingdom. 
Must have been an impressive sight in its time. Now there's nothing left. It's a strange thing, though. There are no signs of conflict around the area. It's as though the whole place just vanished. And we're done. Got a lot of Geo out of that. And now back to the blacksmith, now that we actually have the money. Uh, oh, you returned. Ninja. And here we go. Gonna reforge the nail. Junsha. Here we are. The reforging is complete. I modified the nail to spiral form. A very tricky task it was. You'll find it stronger than ever before. Off you go now. Cut your way forward. Let's have a look. The coiled nail. A powerful weapon of Halloness, re refined beyond all others. So now we actually have a, a drill, apparently. You know what that means. Gurren Lagann references Ahoy. But now that we've gotten that, let's head off to the resting ground. So I will go and fast travel there. Alright, we have arrived. Let's go and talk to the moth lady. We've collected a lot of essence since uh, coming here last, so maybe we can get a couple of upgrades going for the dream nail. Ah, uh, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. Oh, your dream nail holds over 200 essence. You're proving your talent in its collection. Have you seen that great door just outside? My tribe closed it long ago and forbade its opening. Ah, but as far as I can tell, I'm the only member of my tribe still breathing. That means I needn't feel bad about breaking a taboo. As proof of my belief in you, I'll open the door. So that dream shield thing I was trying to claim is how you unlock the door. Nah, you just need 200 essence. There, the door is open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there and you may hear the utterings of bugs long, long, long gone. You've collected 300 essence. Yes, I can see the dreams of this old kingdom are starting to cling to you. Very encouraging. You've certainly made my dreary work here more exciting. Being the caretaker of this place hasn't been very stimulating. I shouldn't complain, though. Tending these graves and guiding the wielder. All penitents for old crimes. Certain things have to be kept in balance. Take this trinket for your efforts and return with 500 essence. Keep up your tireless work. And she gave us some pale ore. Not, not bad. Ah, 500 essence! You're a master in the making! Well done, well done! I have a small reward for you. Plucked from one of my most precious memories, this charm will bring you and the dream nail closer still. The secrets of this kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer. Take it, and return once you have collected 700 essence. More gifts await you. The Dream Wielder. Charm, transient charm created for those who wield the dream nail and collect, collect essence. Allows the bearer to charge the dream nail faster and collect more soul when striking fo foes. So instead of charging up like so, it takes about half that time, maybe like just a second. It takes a second to, uh, to charge up if you equip it. For now though, we have entered into the spirit's glade. The bugs within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain, but r raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Buy my cookies! They're ever so tasty! Beware your own mind, little one. Twisted minds breed dark deeds and mine was more twisted than most. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this glade and with it a sort of peace. Anything over here? Nope. I used to help others. They were brought to me sick and dying. What difference did it make? Any victory against death will always be temporary. Don't fear, little creature. Though a violent rage once possessed me, the peaceful air in this place seems to keep it at bay. Are you a warrior, little one? A true warrior is one who can stand strong in the midst of a storm. I was once obsessed with power through my time within this glade. Uh, though my time th within this glade has shed me of such desire. What folly it was to ever crave such a vicious thing. Oh, I goofed. Let's try that again. Oh, 
I came from far away to reach this place. Though my shell may seem foreign, beneath it I am a bug, the same as you. Ah, Wanderer. I've been many places and done a great many things, but I suspect you will outdo me by far. I've long ceased traveling the caverns of Hallow Nest, and I suspect they're fa now far more dangerous than in my journeys. Though with your capable air, I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck! It's a vast world out there. I'll see you soon, she said, though that was long ago. I wonder where she went. Watch out. I have an acidic touch and I wouldn't want you getting burned. It's a protection system of my kind, though something of a nuisance when it comes to meeting others. Hark, fellow adventurer. Are you heading out into the world? I'd join you, but it's been so long, I fear I'd lose my head. Don't judge me by appearance. Though my stature is small, I bear a dark soul and a tendency to go berserk in battle. I'll take your word for it. All of life's problems can be solved with crushing force. Such a simple mantra, and one I've always lived by. If you weren't so scrawny, I'd suggest you follow my example. Don't fear my rotting form. Though my body sheds and changes, my core remains the same. Are you enjoying your time in our glade? I'd offer advice, though, to have made it here, you're obviously, obviously quite adept at navigating our world and its perils. Are you admiring my fabulous markings? I'm of a distinguished species, you see, though I've not seen another like me for the longest time. Do you like my nails, little wanderer? I carry only three, far less than legends may suggest. Still, each is sharper than the last, and I'd require only one to cut you down. We're always left with reminders of the errors we've made. Let your mistakes not burden you, but serve as guideposts on where not to travel. Alright, and I believe I saw something over here. Yeah. There's always a secret behind a waterfall. A king's idol. And a bunch of statues of, uh, of moths. Nothing there. And let's just travel on back. Now, there was that one person at the very start of the glade who told us, if you interfere, or if you try to attack any of the spirits here, uh, they will they will fight you. And that is true. So, I will antagonize it uh, in a second, though. Let's collect some more essence. Hi, everybody. And yeah, you can reap all of the, s the spirits that you see here. But if you attack any one of them right now, that person at the start of the, of the glade will go in and attack you right away. So you can either pick a fight with it automatically, or you can attack one of these people. Well, spirits. And then you will, you know... Go forth from there. down from the top in order to get to that, unless I had better jumping skills, I guess. And am I good over here? Yeah. Whoop! Ooh, not quite. There we go. That's all of them. Alright. Let's have at ye. So I don't remember how this person fights, but it does look like it does two damage to you every time it slices at you. And it's pretty, uh, pretty accurate too. So you'll want to be careful. Oh, I'm all the way back here. I should have, uh, I should have sat down at the bench at the resting grounds. Oops. All right, and we're back. Hi, friend.
I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh. Oh wait, there he is. <laughs> I was gonna say, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can attack him right at the same time as him. And again? That seems to be the way to go. Don't try to dodge him. Take him head on, but time your sli your slice a little bit better. Ah, I mistimed it, damn. And again. Oh well. He's not seeming to want to lose his health, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out if he's actually killable. Hi again. Okay, let's uh, let's just kill one more guy. We'll have 900 essence, and now we'll just be on the run from this guy. Oop, mistimed. Mistimed again. Let's try that one more time. Hey, okay, mistimed that one more time. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I think he actually attacked me on my way out of the loading screen. I hope that doesn't uh, mess anything up. Either way, we have 900 essence, which is one of the uh, the benchmarks of another upgrade for the uh, the, the moth lady, the seer. Uh, so I didn't need to go kill everybody in that uh, in the glade. I just wanted to get to the next benchmark, I believe. Uh -huh. What I believe to be the next benchmark, anyway. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. You already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. That lock of theirs, desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back and visit me. And she gives you a vessel fragment. The dream nail now holds 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind, like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Hold the dream nail tight, wielder, and imagine a great gate opening before you. Mastered the dream gate. Hold the top face button. Hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate, and hold up while using the dream nail to travel to the dream gate. So you can make your own custom fast travel points. Ah, the dream nail is glowing so brightly. Keep it up. Return to me once you have collected 1,200 essence. This kingdom is full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather essence. So now, yeah, custom fast travels. If you press down while you're pressing the uh, the dream nail button, you'll just set a waypoint for you to travel to. If you're holding up while you're charging the dream nail, you'll just warp at the cost of one essence, I believe, to the fast travel point. So yeah, that's uh, that's something we can do now. Now then, I said I wanted to, oh yeah, also it'll mark on your map wherever your latest fast travel is put. And I think I said I wanted to visit the tram station eventually, and I also needed to go to the Fog Canyon and go this way. Or this way. I feel like I'm I'm okay to travel to the Fog Canyon and do all that. There's still a lot more of uh, the game available to us if we head to the right. So once we take this tram, or alternatively if we went to that secret passage through the King Station. 
But I think for now, I'll want to go to the Fog Canyon. All right, we've arrived at the Fog Canyon from the Queen Station. So I'm gonna explore a little bit more of this place now. I didn't feel particularly confident in being able to handle a lot of this area, not just because, or sorry, not even because of the giant jellies and how much damage they do. I was just not really comfortable with exploring the rest of this place immediately when finding the teacher. Because that feels very, like, end game level stuff. But yeah, once we have Yzma's tier, we can head down this way. And in fact, this leads to a new world entirely. Welcome to the Queen's Gardens. We have some new enemies here. These uh, husks will spawn out some uh, some spikes whenever they uh, are threatened, and then whenever they die, their husk will also have spikes on them. You can attack the bodies from then on to uh, you know destroy them outright. Now it's been a while since I've actually been to the Queen's Gardens myself, so some of the mechanics in this area are I'm, I'm not really remembering off the top of my head. I'm hearing an egg container. There it is. Those little flying moss guys are not too difficult. The moss flies. They just like to float around. Now if I remember right, these platforms, yeah. After a little while, they'll just drop from underneath you. They'll come back after a little, like, after a couple of seconds, but... We have another, uh, one of these black pillars. And actually, come to think of it, I believe if we were to head through this entrance of the Fog Canyon, uh, we would eventually get met with this, this shadow pillar. So, this would loop around back to the, uh, yeah, we're still in the Fog Canyon, technically. But, we can pull that lever and just come this way. Uh, was there anything over here? No. That leads back to the canyon. This. Oh. Actually, this is kind of important to be here. If I'm remembering right, anyway. Got some, uh, that's the Overgrown Mound with some Snail Shaman, uh, you know, warnings. This might be what I was thinking of when I was trying to remember if the Stone Sanctuary in Green Path had anything for us. Because it's got very similar theming. And, uh, once you leave Green Path the first time, you can actually come here. I believe. Because these guys are Green Path enemies. And that was the entire gauntlet right there. So once we head down here... We get our final spell. The Howling Wraiths. Tap the right face button while holding up to unleash the Wraiths. So now we have an upward spell attack. And that's basically it. But here's the snail shaman that was supposed to give it to us, but he's been overgrown. Hear me. I guess now we've consumed his, his soul of wanting to be heard. But yeah, now if we need a spell to attack upwards, we can use the wraiths. Now, unfortunately, I can't speak too much for the, like, how the spell works in its entirety and, like, where it's useful, because I haven't used it too much, honestly. Once I got the, uh, the plummeting spell, whatever it's called, uh, I just wanted to use that for my main damage spell. If not that, then the long-range, um, Vengeful Spirit. Okay, more accurately, we can't access this part until we have the Mantis Claw, but there you go. You can get the the Howling Wraiths as soon as you get the Mantis Claw. But yeah, back in the Fog Canyon. 
Uh, let me just see real quick if... No. I think that's just the path leading over this way. There's nothing really to explore. We got some more lifeblood. And... Wanderer's Journal, Hallonest Seal. Close enough. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, well... I believe once we find another... bench, this little place of the Fog Canyon will be marked off on the map. But for now, let's return to the Queen's Gardens and continue exploring through that. I hear water trickling, but... Don't, I don't think I can do anything right there. It's weird that there's just, like, an outcropping here, though. Is there something I'm missing? Maybe I'm hearing the acid pool right above. Hmm. Anyway, 